You guys don't know what a webtoon producer is i've made a lot of videos about my job what i do so feel free to check those out i am a webtoon creative producer which means that i work in-house at webtoon to create series for the platform some of my titles include archie comics big ethel energy spells from hell which i wrote and produced night owls and summer skies and american road trip here is my current updated day in the life routine i don't want to keep you guys waiting so i'm just gonna jump right into the video hope you guys enjoy I usually kind of wake up around this time now. I kind of take advantage of this now and I try and get a little bit of drawing in the morning. I didn't realize when I wake up like the first thing in the morning my shoulders are hunched or like my heart immediately starts racing even though like I know I can't get it all done in one day but it is something that I'm constantly thinking about and constantly anxious about achieving finished therapy and as usual I cried so much because uh, there's always stuff to work on <laughs> yeah rise and shine <sighs> Makeup time. I'm wearing makeup because I'm filming a YouTube video, but usually I kind of go in with a bare face. If you look like whatever 70-80% of the time you see people, then that time when you randomly do put on makeup, you look better. So people have lower expectations for your looks and are pleasantly surprised when you do put on makeup. That's kind of like my philosophy for, for makeup in general. So you're probably wondering why and how I was able to get so much done in the morning before work started. So work starts at 10 and I wake up at seven. It was kind of a special case today because I had therapy at eight, but usually I can get in like a good two hours at the gym and then um, come back and it's like around 10 so I check my emails while I get ready for the day. So you can sign up to go into the office um, two times a week, um, which they call like hybrid schedule. Sometimes my roommate also decides to go into the office and so we just carpool and she wakes up pretty late and I have to get ready after coming back from the gym. So it just works out that we end up going during uh, or after lunch. That's why I'm able to get so much done in the morning. Today I do have a lot of work. Today is Wednesday. Usually going into the office helps me kind of like focus and like really dial in. Today I'm using this Naked Heat palette that I've had since college. I made another day in the life last year around the similar time and it's interesting to see how much of my schedule has changed and how much is the same. I think my makeup routine is pretty much the same. Now I gotta open my eyes. Mascara, lash curler, this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Fenty Beauty Concealer Using the Peripera Lipstick Today Ink Velvet 17, it's a nice shade So it's a little bit pink and my makeup is a little bit orange So I'm gonna cover it with 3C 
Style Nando's like little orange lip color. Makeup is done. I hope that Doing what project are we doing? Uh, I'm working on Escape from Oz and uh, Forever After. Mm. And then some other ones that are secret. 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 Yeah, you guys should check those out. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna go get a drink. Bye. Bye. All the badge and I was, it was just like cold. Oh, cool. yeah. yeah, and I was like, oh, thanks, you know. But she was like, Laura Olympus, and I was like, oh, okay, you know stuff. We're out here. We're out here. <laughs> Simba, a D dog, <laughs> right? It's I thought it was like the real Adidas. Oh, oh, you're so good. if they can come grab me and so now I'm waiting for them to come get me which I really really appreciate them doing for me today is Wednesday and it's the last day before we like take off for Thanksgiving break so that's why it's a really calm and chill day which is a perfect time for me to just vlog and have a camera up in my face and not have it be obnoxious I'm gonna get out of the bathroom because if somebody walks in this would be really awkward <sighs> It's been crazy to think that I've been working at Webtoon for two years now. I mean, technically I've been working here for three years because I interned in 2019 and now it's 2022. And the first time I stepped foot in this building, in this apartment complex, I was a rising senior in college at USC. And I remember just being so nervous about like my job interview i literally couldn't drink during happy hour when they had events because i hadn't yet turned 21 <laughs> and it's crazy now that like 
I, I freaking work here and I've been working here for three years and I've gained so much insight from just like working here for so long and now I'm making YouTube videos about it. There's times like these where I just like look at just the building that I've gone really familiar with and like the co-workers and just this routine and just feel really really grateful. Bye! So yeah. It's really gritty, which is, I can't, the quality is really intense. Yeah. What a flattering angle. It's all snow. <laughs> you can see her overbite. <laughs> but they have, look, these like weird thingies, and then these weird caramel things. Have oh, you seen this before? No. I tried one of these, and it tasted really good. It's softer than I thought. This looks like old people candy. This I like is it. This for Sarah. I like the old people candy. Oh, no. It's not that strong a matcha. Hmm. Is green tea maybe? I taste the mochi. Mochi? Yeah. Mm. Do you think it's mochi? <laughs> I forgot what I got. Oh yes. Yeah. Let's it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanksgiving haul. <laughs> Trick or treat. Time to eat dinner. These days, I've been really into just throwing all of my veggies into the oven. Simple and quick and easy. I threw this tofu in the air fryer. I put teriyaki sauce in, in the pan and then saute the tofu, the air fried tofu. And like right when it comes out of the pan, it tastes like restaurant level. This teriyaki sauce, literally just so easy. Like all of my meats, I just use this to season it and it's all set, don't have to worry about anything. me to take off my makeup and revert back to normal swing clinic for the rest of my makeup i use this this is the only thing i found that i'm not allergic to that i can take off my mascara so i'll clean my toner i'm not beauty guru so this is how i put on toner <laughs> curology has helped a lot with i don't know if you guys noticed in the beginning of this year i had a really bad acne breakout on my forehead i actually went to the dermatologist as well he prescribed a tritonian cream i've been applying this like maybe like once or twice a week not too much because you know it is pretty harsh like just a teeny tiny bit on my forehead and I just like rub it out. I have really sensitive skin and I'm actually allergic to lots and lots of things. It's kind of annoying uh, whenever I buy makeup products or skincare products because sometimes I buy it and I can't use it. Snail moisturizer thing. Take like a shit ton and just rub it all over my face. I'm trying to get more into just like gua sha and like protecting my face and just like de-swelling it. Like massaging it like this feels really, really good. And then the back of the ear right here, I'm gonna dress into my PJs in three, two, one. Wow, cool YouTuber transition. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know if there's anyone that actually like switches a different PJ every single night. So this is, this is a very realistic day in my life. I wear the same PJs to bed every night until I need to wash them. Don't judge. This is my day in the life, not yours. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of um, video editing tonight. It usually helps if I just like get started on the task and like end halfway through. So it's easier for me to pick back up on later. So I'm gonna just get like a little bit done today. Oy. Ginger barley tea. For all you IBS girlies out there, drinking ginger can really help with uh, that digestion. One thing that I love watching when I go to bed, have you guys seen this lady? Like she lives in the countryside and makes these videos with um, about her like cooking like from the farm and like feeding her family. It just like puts me to sleep, man. Like I just watch a bunch of these videos and then I'm ready for bed. So that's what I'm gonna do today.
that concludes my day in the life of a webtoon producer. I am going to go to bed now. I'm very, very sleepy. This is pretty encompassing what my day looks like. There's a lot of productivity, growth, and just healing constantly each day and just reflecting. Last year, I filmed a week in the life during the LACC weekend and I will be doing that again. And so I'll be doing a whole entire week of the life of a webtoon producer ending with LA Comic Con once again, kind of making it like a fun little tradition, I guess. Stay tuned and look forward to that. And if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs> Rico is back. It's right there.